Face the Savage. Hey, what's up peeps, Repson here, and uh, today we are doing a lesson on lighting for your Minecraft animation in Cinema 4D. Uh, so, right now, as you can see, it looks pretty trashy, and uh, yeah, it's plain trash. Oh, didn't mean to click that. Okay, so first you're gonna one, want to add your sky, so just hold down on this floor thing and uh, let go when you hit the sky, or whatever. And then I've already made a material, um, but I guess I'll make another one since I did not show you guys how to do that. So just double click and then that will give you this material. Double click that. Uh, you can name it Sky and then unclick Specular. Uh, yeah. Um, for texture, go to Gradient and then just click on that. For this in the white, uh, you can click a, you know, you can get a nice blue sky color. It's pretty cute. And then for this one, I'm gonna do another blue, but make it a lot wider. And then after you've done your colors, it doesn't have to be that color. If it's nighttime, you can make it like a darker color, maybe a different shade. Maybe like orange for sunset or something. Uh, orange and red, I don't know. But anyway, uh, you're going to go from 2D U to 2D V to make it up and down. And uh, just close out of that. And drop it onto your sky. And so now you've got this pretty nice looking sky. And uh, so after you've done that, you're gonna wanna add your sun. And so you are not actually going to go into the sunlight, but rather the infinite light. And so as you can see, everything is black. Um, so you have to go to your rotation tool, and uh, you know, you can just rotate it toward. Whichever, whichever angle you like best. So, I am going to let's see that that looks okay. That that looks pretty good to me. Now, obviously, it's it's still gonna look pretty bad, but you know, it'll look better once you render it and all that stuff. So, um, let's just ah, stop. Okay. So, uh, let's see. You've done all that, and then you can name that sun. And go to general, mm, let's see, shadow area, I think. Is that it? Oh, wait, no. Okay, well, anyway, so uh, you can change the color of this. You can, if you want it like, once again, like sunset or something, you can make it a bit more orange. So it's like an orange lighting or, you know, whatever. And you can, you can change the sun direction, but I'm just going to stay at white for now. And then shadow, you're gonna go, I think it'll say none. Uh, maybe, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it, what it was at before. And uh, you're just gonna go to area. And so, uh, yeah, that's, you know, let's see, it, it's still, st <laughs> still trashy, but because as you can see, the shadows are really harsh and stiff. So. After you've done all that, you're gonna wanna go into your render settings. You know, make this HD. It doesn't have to be 1920 by 1080. Um, it can be 1280 by 720, I think that's the right thing. Um, or if you don't know, you can just lock ratio and put in 720. Yeah, okay. But I'm just gonna do 1080, just so it looks nicer. And then you're going to go to anti Al, Al, Alice, I don't even, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that thing, that anti-something, go from geometry to best. Uh, oh yeah, and make sure when you are doing your actual animation, go to all frames instead of current frame. That's a common mistake that people make, but uh, yeah. So, after that, go to effect, ambient occlusion, that'll add that thing, and also... I think the uh, global illumination. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so once you have ambient occlusion and global illumination, you're gonna wanna go to 
ambient inclusion and click check evaluate transparency and then you're gonna want to go to this box and make it uh, lighter gray so the shadows aren't totally pitch black and really ugly and stuff so uh, that should be pretty good you can experiment with that um, global illumination go to sampling and check low yeah and that should be pretty good I think didn't forget anything today let's see so just gonna render this out real quick it's not re oh wait nope it is rendering um I'll be right back when it finishes rendering Okay, so, um, so as you can see, the shadows are a lot soft. What is, what is that? I, I don't know what that is, but the shadows are a lot softer. Um, actually they look a bit too soft, but you know, if you like it, then that's fine. You can experiment more. Um, so it's, it's kind of light, but, uh, oh, and obviously when you're in Mindways and you're selecting what you want to put into Cinema 4D. Don't select just the scene, select a large part of it because as you can see, it just kind of like cuts off right here and that is a bad thing. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, actually, I might try, yeah, okay. I'm gonna try to uh, go back into my render settings and well, no, I'm gonna change the sky to, oh, God. Technical difficulties was uh, meant to do the sun. Okay, maybe if we go to here. No, is that, is that gonna work? Okay, let's do that. And uh, it's gonna take too long to render. Okay, well, anyway, you guys get the idea. You can experiment around with that, make the shadows more or less harsh. Uh, you know, you can remember. Hold on, let me just stop that. Uh, so remember to make the shadows, you know, do that. You can make this darker and uh, so the shadows get darker. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, let's see. Part three will be the actual animation. And uh, yeah, I'll we uh, I can't speak English. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.